So how's it going guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be watching them. So I've seen a couple of creature features on the channel. I watched Tarantula last summer which I thought was a really fun film and I also watched, well I guess it's not really a creature feature, this is elements in it but it was a brilliant film, it was uh, The Incredible Shrinking Man. Um, but I have heard quite a few people say that them is probably the best of the creature features. Um, I was fascinated to watch Tarantula and Incredible Shrinking Man because I do have a, a strong phobia of spiders and they really were good at getting under my skin, particularly the Incredible Shrinking Man. But I know this one has ants in it, but I have heard really good things and I'm very excited because uh, James Arness is in it, who I'm watching, uh, who I've been watching in Gunsmoke, the Western TV show, which I've really enjoyed. So I'm very much looking forward to getting into this one. Usually the creature features are quite fun, these old 1950s films. Um, but guys, there will be a full uncut reaction to this, will be on my Patreon page. Uh, link will be in the description. Um, and if you do want to become a patron, um, Again, the information will be there. There's different tiers of different perks. And uh, just a quick shout out to my patrons to um, Ravi, to JM63, to Mary, to Jared, Jenny, uh, Blaze, Mihal, and Gigi Gooding. Thank you so much for the support. It's really appreciated. Uh, but with that said, let's watch them. Great font. Here we have him, James Ernest. I hope it kind of has a similar setting to Tarantula. I liked, I loved the Arizona setting in Tarantula. I just, just really like that kind of the summer feel. What's the little girl? Jeez, I thought it was a woman. Did she, um, did she see something? Did she witness the ants getting someone, maybe? Honey. What's your name? I don't know. Sunstroke? Ah, she's not sunburned. She couldn't have been out of the sun very long. Looks like she's in shock. She's already living here, was she? This blood must be 10, 12 hours old. Mountain lions never come down into the desert. No, no cat ever lived. Leave a print like that. 628, come in, please. You don't get infected, do you? Car 5W, go ahead. We're 12 miles north of the road. Road. I always love when you kind of you're presented with you know what this no. carnage. So the event has happened, but you don't know what exactly it is yet. It just creates that intrigue and mystery. I, I like that setup. God, I didn't think it would arrive. We'd see him so soon. It's pretty freakish in these parts. It's a little more like a squeaking tire. Again, it's isolated. Obviously, another place that was attacked. But... Is that a gun? Jeez. Ooh, shit. I'm kind of liking these cops. I hope that they don't get taken out this, you know. I wouldn't mind them being the protagonists. I'm getting behind them, though. No money stolen. Money wasn't taken here either. Oh. There it is again. Shit. Ah, ah fuck's sake. Yeah, I know. We'll find out who killed him if he is dead. Along with Gramps and... Oh, so they got the word back already. To, what happened? Uh, put on a call to check all mental institutions. Everything seems to indicate a homicidal maniac. I mean, oh. yeah, right. level-headed thinking, you would, you'd assume it was a person, obviously. You're not going to think it's some kind of strange monster or something. There is he, Matt Dillon, James Ernest. I was waiting to see when he did show up. Got any ideas, Mr. Graham? None that make any sense. I thought you FBI guys were all quiz kids. It's me. Has it been identified yet? No. One of the officers even took it to a friend of his who teaches zoology at the college. He'd never seen anything like it. Lots of evidence, loaded with clues, but nothing adds up. Well, if old man Johnson could have died in any one of five ways. His neck and back were broken, his chest was crushed, his skull was fractured. There was enough formic acid in him to kill 20 men. Does it all together? It's like, what would be capable of that, you know? That's right. Sounds like Richard Attenborough. But... I'm Bob Graham. How'd you do? Well, this is Sergeant Ben Peterson. Hi. Oh. I'm caught. 
Can I help? <laughs> no, thank you. I think I can manage it. <laughs> Peterson, miss. How do you do? Well, then you must be Mr. Robert Graham. Yes, ma'am. How do you do? Hello there. So how come the FBI office in Washington sent that print to the Department of Agriculture? Well, they weren't able to identify it. What I like about these films as well is, like, obviously, you know, it's an incredulous scenario. The performances are so grounded. I like the presentation of, like, the reacting in a realistic way. I don't know what it is yet. But it, it makes it, the story seem more tangible. You people know what this thing is, Doctor. I suggest you tell us. We're assigned to this case, too, you know. Mr. Graham, we cannot tell you until we're absolutely certain about it. Thank you. It may provide the jolt you need. Visit the desert now, gentlemen. It's getting pretty late, Doctor. Later than you think. May we get our first glimpse? The breeze. The goggles, Doctor. I was about to say, put them on. You're supposed to wear them on your, over your eyes. Oh. Rather slim pickings for food, Dad. They turn carnivorous, what for a lack of habitual diet. What would turn carnivorous? Yes, what said about it? My father will tell you. When? When he's positive. Over 12 centimeters. If I'm wrong in my assumptions, then no harm has been done. But if I am correct, then something incredible has happened in this desert. In which case, none of us will dare risk revealing it. Tony, it sounds like squeaky tires emerge from the pole. Oh! Oh my god, that's some reveal. Jeez! Holy mother of god! This guns are going to do anything. Get the other antenna! Get the other antenna! He's helpless without them! There you go. Get the eyes, man. I'll tell you that that, that reveal above her... That was... that was horrifying. One of the family for Missidae. An ant. An ant? I know. Yes. A fantastic mutation. Probably called fantastic mutation. Acid. Well, then that's why that little girl Obviously reacted. there's more of them because you wouldn't just have one and be killed at this whatever would have happened Oregon. There's no time to lose. We must find the colony, the nest. You mean there's more of them? This was probably just a scout. Able to search Baker. Say over. Hmm? Then say over. Over? You found anything yet? Say over. I just said it. I know, say it again. <laughs> over! Oh, is there the one there? Oh, could be the nest. Uh, careful, don't get too low. Do it later. Wow. Fly back over and get as close as you can. Wow. Oh, that's the cop. We just found your missing persons. It's a tomb. You're being very inconsistent about it. But if time is that important, why don't you let me go in there tonight with some bombers and wipe out that nest? No, no. I'll explain. He wants to ex like, Doctor, observe them more, doesn't he? I think he I might be an important. issue. The reason none of them have been seen during the day even by the police spotting planes, is because they don't like the heat of the desert. Do you know that some species of desert ants dig down as deep as 30 feet and more? Well, the creatures would only turn... Who the hell's going to go down there, though? And we don't want that nest damaged. Not yet. Well, what happens after that? We then drop cyanide gas into the opening and kill them. How can you be sure you Can you seal it after you drop it in? Antenna, go for the antenna. Almost as soon as the gas hit him, then he dropped out of sight. We didn't see or hear a thing from then on. You think they're all so you don't know if they're actually dead, dead or if it'll make them. Listen, Bob, someone with scientific knowledge has to go. My father's physically unable to do it. That leaves she has me. a point there, I think she's right. Hold it. 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 Hold it
killed it. Ooh. They're dead. But they would have attacked us right away. Oh my god, going on further again. Jenny macaroni. <laughs> I want to make sure you have enough ammunition and weaponry. That's why I think there should have been more than two of them going. Well, three. But like she doesn't. Ones that hatch from bees. Why? So like I said, they were protected by it. Now destroy everything in here. Process. Yes, that's the logical conclusion. And you feel sure these two have gone? You found no wing dance in the nest anywhere. The rest of you are trying to understand the gravity of our situation. But is one such specimen that got himself trapped in amber, which we know is at least that of the Jurassic Park. Is of a savage species called Campanotus bikinus Meyer. He's of a desert variety. Very one. similar to the giant mutations yeah. we found in New Mexico. What says that same one? They're twenty times its own weight. And that's equal to one of you lifting a ton and a half or more. So you imagine what the giant ones have become. Really. The queen flies on. Or more precisely, is borne by the winds and starts her function. I had no idea about the thing with the wings. Man, as the dominant species of life on Earth, will probably be extinct. You think I'm crazy? Well, I don't care what you think, I'm not. I saw those things with my own two eyes. You don't believe me either, do you? On the contrary, we do. You do? Be right neighborly if you could help. They should help him, because he wasn't lying. I appreciate it if you kept him here, so he doesn't get any publicity. Oh, to scare him, people. He's have absolutely no visitors. Oh, he's going to be sailing over that. Oh my god. I'm sure you oh, terrifying that, being in the middle of the ocean and you're attacked by giant ants. God, even worse than sharks. But I don't see how a ship at sea could... Dr. Bedford. Hmm? How could these giant creatures get aboard that vessel without... The SS Viking anchored at Acapulco, Mexico for three days and four nights. And there we believe that one of these missing queen ants flew aboard. Doc, what do those flags on the big map indicate? Well, uh, these four indicate locations where we found dead male ants. The most recent finding was about four days ago, here near Mount Wilson in California. It was badly decomposed and we... Watchman claims he didn't see or hear a thing. What's so important you're going to work on Sunday? Where's the watchman now? Is this the only job you've ever had? Yes, sir. I've been with the railroad 30 years and never blot against my record. But crooks to steal something, it wouldn't be for 40 tons of sugar. And I swear I didn't hear a thing Friday night. He left the house at a quarter of six. He had his two kids with him. No sign of the kids yet. Oh, my God. That's why the three of them get up early on Sundays and go someplace to play together for a few hours. So show me on the map just exactly where you found Lodge, will you? Right there. Look, we've got to find out where he took those kids this morning. I don't think he could have driven very far the way he was cut up. He couldn't. To get into. Big enough for who to get into? The ants. I'd like to get out of here. Ants? But I... Know this laws, Jensen. What kind of ants did you see? Oh, big ones. Ain't bad. Look at those big openings in the sides, like sewer outlets or something. Still, the kids trying to find those two boys. I'm waiting for them to hear the, that just squeaky tire screeching sound. Come here. When there was a lab behind in the background get taken. Tire marks. They're pretty new tires. Here we go. It's them all right. No, but just the same, it could all fall right into place. Lodge and his kids down here flying their model plane. Suddenly, one or more of the ants attack. Remember, the husband used to bring the boys down here to fly it. It's got to be the same plane, same color and everything. And there's no model plane at home. This is Dr. Harold Medford of the Department of Agriculture. General Robert O'Brien, Air Force Intelligence. This is an emergency. I repeat, this is an emergency. A couple of months ago, in the desert of New Mexico, gigantic ants were discovered. These Imagine hearing that on the news. You think they got insane, like? Is there any word yet? Is there any chance that the boys will still be alive, though? At least they have more people with them as well now, like, regardless, like the first time. 
We can't risk fire until we know whether any new queens have hatched and flown out of this nest. See, for her it's a double thing. Obviously she wants the ants killed, but like she wants her sons back first. To be back, back safe and sound. That is a natural sound of him, sir. Where does this thing go? According to this, that feeder pipe runs into a mainline drain that isn't finished yet. Still in the construction stage. Jason is going through the connecting feeder to drain 267. We've heard what may be the kid. It's that moment of truth. Potentially for us, she's going to be even more nervous. Are you there? Yes, we're here! Schmitty! They're alive! They're alive. But her boys are alive. Oh no. Man, how did they get down there though? Holy shit. We're gonna get you out of there, but don't move! Smitty, there's two ants in here! That older guy looks so calm. Condition red. Drain 267 is the target area. Repeat. Yeah, but again, you can't fire because the kids are, as I said, right there on the firing line. Like, so. Another one. It's a great shot, though. Shades of Nosferatu. Get the freaking thing, get the thing! Oh no! Holy shit! I'm gonna crush his ribs. Uh. Dead? I liked him from the get go. Board cops from the get go. I like. No, we can't take a chance. It might poison the whole city. Well, we gotta get through there. Locate the egg chamber. Someone else be helping him? Oh! Get the hell out of there! Oh shit! I thought the soldiers were out. There's another ant coming from the other side of him. Oh. That's gotta be it. Hold it. Is this it, Doctor? They're new princesses. New queens. The wings yes. are around. This is the egg chamber. The same as we found in New Mexico. Okay, burn them out. You could smell a sequel. One of them escaped, you know. It's certain there's none of them got out. When man entered the atomic age, he opened a door into a new world. Very solid for them. All right, that was them, and I thought this was a very fun movie. Um, I first loved the setting, particularly in the first kind of uh, half, three quarters of the film when it's in New Mexico. Like I said, with Tarantula, I love the setting of Arizona. I love those kind of settings, the deserty settings. Um, I really, really enjoyed them. So I think. That from from the from the off really got me into it. Um, then I just loved the first kind of 20, 25 minutes before we saw any of the ants, the mystery behind it, trying to figure out what, what was happening. For for them, the characters, obviously I knew there was giant ants, but I loved the characters trying to unravel what was happening. And it really I really got attached to a lot of the characters, especially the two cops at the beginning, James Ernest characters, and the two scientists, the father and the daughter. So I really cared for them as the film went on, particularly at the end, like when the cop died, like I was really fearful for him. Arnest at the end when the ants were coming in on them, I was really fearful for him. So there was a lot of elements to the film that I enjoyed. And then of course like just the kind of that you know I guess actiony scenes with the ants themselves. But I gotta say that first reveal of the ant coming up, there was no music. I thought that was extremely effective, extremely unnerving as well. Uh, with the with the lady scientist, I can't remember her name, but the, the daughter when she's examining, I think it was the footprint or something, and you just see the head come up. Cause it's funny because I said something's gonna come up now in a minute. And yet even though I had kind of half anticipated that, I still found that shot extremely unnerving. It was really well done. I think just the fact there was no music. Um, it just made it more, more freaky, you know. Um, you know, James or Nespina, that was fun, obviously, because I know from Gunsmoke. Um, but yeah, I thought this was a lot of fun. This film was a lot of fun, like Tarantula. Um, just, I'll, I'll watch more of these films, definitely, these kind of uh, disaster or kind of uh, creature feature, you know, uh, radiation kind of things, you know, experiments gone wrong. Uh, 
I'm sure there's loads of other ones out there, so I do want to check out more of them. But yeah, as I said, it was a lot of fun to watch. Uh, and there's a charm as well. Like 50s music, 50s movies have a lot of charm to them. Um, but guys, let me know in the comments your thoughts on them. Uh, where would rank among your favorite creature features? Um, what do you think of it on the whole? I uh, would love to hear your thoughts. Uh, but until next time, Slong of all.